Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to my studio. I'm Wendy from Wendy A. Diaz Art. And today, we're gonna learn how to do some abstract flowers. I thought I'd take you into my studio and kind of play around and show you a really cool technique. It's a really easy technique, especially for beginners. And we're gonna be using acrylic paints, um, black and white. So yeah, this is gonna be part of my black and white series. So let's have some fun and let's go paint. So today we're gonna to be using acrylic paint. I have it right here. We're gonna use white and we're gonna use black. And you might want a spray bottle too because we're gonna learn how to do drips. Because this is, a, this is an abstract piece, so really anything goes on this piece. So don't worry, if you don't like it, you just paint over it. It's not a big deal, okay? All right, so I have 11 by 14. This canvas has already been started. Um, I have molding paste on this. I will link that video down below. Um, it, it's one of my first videos that I did. I teach you how to put the molding paste on and this, this technique. But don't worry if you don't have this technique already done. You can just put some light gray on just to tone your canvas first. And then you can actually follow along right now. All right, so we have our white on our palette and I have a one inch brush. I'm gonna dip it into water first and I'm just gonna dip it into my, my white. And I just wanna make sure that it's a little bit loose. My white paint is a little bit loose. I add some more water to it because I really just want to put on a wash. I want to see some of that gray peeking through. And right now I'm just doing a nice, easy crisscross. That's all you have to do. Just crisscross back and forth, nice and easy. See how the white kind of tones the background of this painting a little bit? That's what I wanna see. I don't want a solid white because I like the texture that's peeking through too, especially from the molding paste. There we go. And you just move it all around nice and easy nice and simple don't worry if you see i just went over my line a little bit don't worry about that because we're going to take some black paint and we're going to just fix that really quickly okay so that was super easy let's rinse out our brush and let's grab some black paint we'll put some black paint on our canvas I mean a palette. It's a palette. Sorry. Okay, and I'm gonna take some of my black. I actually I like the tone that I have right now, so I'm actually gonna mix my black and my white together. I'm just gonna do this real quick and show you. Just keep mixing it until you find your desired color that you want. And I'm just gonna lightly go over this. I like that you can see some of the texture that's coming through on the canvas. And I'll, I'll show you in just a moment. I'll bring the canvas up close. Actually, I'm going to turn my canvas around so that you can see the top of it so it's a little bit easier for you to see. And we're just gonna lightly go over this. The sides, just paint your sides nice and lightly. And I like that. That looks pretty good. Now, I do like the line a little bit, so I'm going to put that back in a little bit. I like to know that I have a little bit of a line. Just slightly. Just I just want to see that line in the background. There. And I'm going to add a little bit more white to this. There, now you can start to see some of that texture come through with the white on here. There we go. It was nice and easy, right? So here's what the canvas looks like now. You can see at the bottom, you can see all that nice texture all on the bottom. And now you can see some of that gray peeking through. That's what we're looking for. That looks great. 
All right, so now we're, we're ready to start. We're ready to start our flowers. And so I'm gonna take a smaller brush, about this size. I don't really know what size this is. I think it's worn off on my brush, so. Any, any size, any size that you feel comfortable actually doing. I'm dipping it into my water and wiping it off just a little bit. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my black paint. And we're going to decide where we want our flowers. And how many flowers do you want? I thought we would do, move you just a little bit. There we go. I thought we would do, let's start with one. So I'm putting on my paint and I'm just kind of squiggling. Where do I want my flower? This is how I want my flower. Just make little squiggles. There you go, that's one flower. And maybe we'll have another flower up here. I like that, that looks great. There's another one. And let's make another one right here. Yeah, that looks good. And see how I'm just squiggling? I'm just putting the outline of a flower. This is abstract, so don't worry about it. Um, flowers are not perfect in abstract. They're just not. <laughs> and this is why it's just, this is just a great technique to use, uh, especially if you're trying to teach children. Let's, let's put another one. We'll put a little one right over here. There we go. And where should we do another? I think we should do another one because I like to do things in threes or fives. So... Let's do one right here. We'll do one. We'll do a little one right here. There we go. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my spray bottle and I'm going to lightly just spray these so that they start to drip a little bit. Let's see if my spray bottle works. There we go. There we go. Now we got some drips going on. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Oh, those look good. I like those drips. Yep, like that a lot. Okay, so if you don't like drips, you can always um, take your paper towel. I'm gonna take a little bit of paper towel and we can go in and we can kind of lightly put those drips in the background if we wanted to. But I, I actually like them. So I'm going to use my my paintbrush again and i'm gonna pick up my black and i'm gonna keep working that because i actually actually like that those drips there we go i'm just gonna add a little water to my paintbrush there we go i like when my my drips happen i don't know i'm kind of i'm kind of partial to drips and see how like i i'm just making little circles, little round circles, just moving, let the brush do the work. Don't try too hard, just make little squigglies. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna pick up some white paint and let's add our white paint in to our little squiggly flowers. There we go. We're gonna add some contrast now Move it all around. Yeah. Looking good. See how free flowing this is? And this is why it's such a great technique to use. Yeah. I think what we're going to do is we're going to add our stems in right now. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to add stems in in the beginning. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see. I'm going to put a stem right here. I'm going to just bring it right down. I'll put another stem right here. And I'm going to bring this one all the way down. I'm going to drag that one right down. This one can go over here. And this one can go right in through here. Yeah, and don't worry about it, like if you're shaky 
or or anything like that because you know flat this, this is abstract anything goes with abstract so don't worry about it i'm my hands don't always stay nice and steady either so that's not a big deal okay so we have we have our stems in now so now we can really play now we can really really go for it i'm going to add a little bit more white onto my palette so I can start building my flowers. And this is what I mean, like I'm, I'm working wet on wet and so you'll be able to move this paint around a little bit, but I'm really putting a lot of paint on my paintbrush and I'm really going in and I'm kind of moving it all around and I'm going outside of my flower too. And I'm just making squiggly lines, that's it. Just make squiggly lines. And I went over that stem. See how I brought that flower right out over the stem? I like to do that too. I like to bring some of the, the flower over and into the background so that it looks like it's a little bit bigger. Let's do the little one. There we go. And right now my, my paint, I'm, I'm kind of called I'm kind of called a dirty painter because I don't wipe my brush off before I begin another thing, and uh, that's okay because I like that it picks up different paints and uh, I it gives it a different technique and I, and I like that it gives it different lines and textures and things like that. But see how I'm constantly building. There we go. Now I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, let's add a, add a highlight to our stems right now. Let's do that. So let's go in and highlight on the top of them. There we go. We'll, we'll pretend our, our sun is coming this way. And we're just going to bring that right down. Actually, I'm going to use my smaller brush to do that. There we go. And when you're not using your brushes, make sure that they always go into the water because uh, acrylic brushes, if you leave the paint on your acrylic brushes and it dries, uh, that's it for your brush. You, you've ruined it. So just make sure. It's an easy fix. And just make sure they go in the water. There we go. I think it's looking pretty good. How about if we, let's add some leaves. So we're gonna dip it back in the black and where should, I, where should we put a leaf? I think we'll put a leaf right here. Yeah, bring it right in and kind of fill that in a little bit. There we go. I'll add a little white in there too. Yeah, I like that. Actually, I'm going to get a bit, I'm going to get that medium sized brush again and I'm going to use my black paint for this one. We'll put another one right here. There we go. And how about we put one over here? Nice and easy, nice and simple. Just kind of squiggle them right in. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. There we go. It's kind of dry here in New England right now. It's winter time, so and it's super super cold out today. So I have this big bulky sweatshirt on. And uh yeah, it's really cold in my studio right now, so okay, see how I'm adding some some texture to my leaves, I'm just adding some white and I'm not really worried about if I go outside the line. See, I just went outside the line and that's okay. Because like I said, this is abstract and it's, you know what it is, you can see what it is, but you don't need to stick to, you know, all, all the technical um, aspects of painting. You know, you want it to look kind of funky. All right, so now I have some more white on my on my brush and I'm gonna just kind of play. 
let's play. That's the best part about painting is you play. And let's go back in and, and just kind of, you know what we're gonna do next? We're, I'm gonna rinse off my brush and we're gonna put a little bit of a shadow underneath. Actually, I need some more black. Let's add some more black to my palette. There we go. And we're going to add um, a shadow underneath our flowers. There's always shadows underneath. There we go. We just add that right along. And see how I'm just coming right out. I, I don't really worry about where I am. You know, just kind of move your brush, let your brush do the work. And let's just add a little bit of a shadow in through here. I love working wet on wet because your paint kind of moves around. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add just a little bit of contrast with my black. They're just little dots, just to let you know that this is a flower. These are the petals. There we go. And you know, you know what? I think I'm going to Let's see. Sometimes as I, as I paint, I change my mind a lot. You know, it's just what happens. And so I'm just going to add this right in just like that, just so you know what that is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep, I'm going to keep building. That's what I love about abstract is you just keep building. And I have a lot of paint on here and that's okay because I like the texture of the paint. And you'll, as you discover your technique and how you want your little squiggly lines and how you want your flowers to overlap. See how I just brought, brought that petal out over the other flower. So this flower actually came in front of this flower. And now this flower is in the back. So we're gonna highlight this flower a little bit. There we go. And I just brought it in front of the leaf now. So I'm just gonna build this flower just a little bit more. There we go. And now don't be afraid, like I'm gonna take my small brush and now I'm gonna really go outside the lines. I'm gonna really show that these flowers are, are kind of big, actually, they are. They're getting bigger and bigger, aren't they? <laughs> but I'm just doing little squiggly lines. Little squiggly circles to add texture. And that's what you do. You just keep doing that. And this, I'm going outside, outside. And this one's gonna go outside too. And now, now we're gonna add some white. We need some pure white because I've kind of um, used my white with the black and it, it mixed in and made gray. So let's do this. Let's add some highlights now. We're gonna add some pure white highlights. Where do we want our highlights? Let's say we want some highlights right here. Actually, I need a bigger brush for that. I need, um, let's take our medium brush back and we're really gonna make highlights. One highlight, one highlight, highlight. And really get in there and make those highlights. And if you, if you feel like the white is mixing in with the black again, then rinse off your brush. But I really just wanna go in and make little dashes. That's pretty much what highlights are, is just little dashes. There. And just keep rinsing off your brush. Pick up some more. Um, let's see, we're gonna add a little highlight over here. I need some more white. Let's 
painting is coming. It's coming along. I like it. It's starting to look really good. Let's see. Let's add some highlights on our leaves. There we go. Ooh, that's a big highlight. I like that one. That looks great. And see, you're just, you just keep building. You build, build, build on this painting. And like I said, you're working wet on wet. So if you don't like something, you can always just paint right over it. Just gonna add a little darkness in, in the middle of my flowers. See how I don't I don't rinse off my brush a lot. I kind of work really dirty actually. <laughs> dirty with my paint. Dirty painting. Okay, so now I'm going to take my smaller brush and I'm going to add a little water to this. And I'm gonna outline a little bit is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take that and just outline just slightly. But you have to make sure that your paint is a little bit watery, just like this. And we're gonna bring that right outside and bring it in and then out. And see how it, it frames your flowers a little bit? I love that look. And sometimes I'll even make squiggly lines. You see how I just made that squiggly line? Like I'll outline this stem and then I'll come in and make a little squiggly line. I don't know why I'm just, I just play. And this helps you, this helps you play a little bit. It helps you not have to stay in the lines. Remember when your teacher used to say, stay in the lines, stay in the lines. And um, I was really good at staying in the lines in the beginning, absolutely you know, when I was, when I was little, but now I stay out of the lines and, uh, and I love that. I love that a lot. This is when you can really have some fun. All right. Now I want to make some highlights along my stem. So I need some pure white because, oh, maybe I do have some pure white. Do I have pure white? I think I might, right on the tip right here. And so I'm just gonna make little dashes. Just to brighten those stems up a little bit. Just gonna brighten those up. Oops. Like I said, sometimes your hands is kind of wonky and just let it flow because that's what nature is. Nature is not perfect. And that's, that's why you can do abstract. I mean, like I said, kids love to do this technique and it's really cool to do it with them. Let's pick up some black here. I'm gonna add some black right underneath here. There we go. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. So the last, the last technique, and I love to do this, is I take my palette knife, and you can see all around here. Um, you know, we're going to add a little bit of white, to kind of brighten up our background a little bit. And the way we do that is we just take our palette knife and we put it on the back of our knife, and you can see that. I have it on the back of my knife. I have white and I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna just scratch it in. I'm just gonna run it right over the back. There we go. And I'm, I'm gonna do it right through my, I'm gonna pick up my painting actually. Don't, don't be afraid to pick up your painting especially when you can't reach places. And I'm just gonna go right in there and just kind of scratch it right in because it's picking up, this white now is picking up 
the molding paste that I had already put on in the very beginning. Now, like I said before, if you didn't put any molding paste on, don't worry about that because it will actually still pick up and highlight over the back of that, the color that you had already put down. Let's see how it's adding to that painting a little bit. It's putting some depth back into that painting. And I love that, that's gorgeous. Yeah, let's add a little bit more over here and a little bit more over there. So we're looking pretty good actually. And uh, yeah, so that, oh, let's get that out of the way, the water bottle. This is our painting today. So what do you think? That was really fun. Love all that texture in there. See how you keep building your flowers over and over. And don't, don't worry because like I said, if you don't like something, you can always paint over it. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt you up a little bit so you can see me. Hi everyone. So that was great, right? That was super fun. Kids love to do this technique. Um, especially making flowers and you're not getting too technical with them. You're just making squiggly lines and yeah, that was super fun today. Thank you everyone for coming. I had a great time and I hope you come back. I have lots more to teach and uh, have a wonderful day. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.